Hello everyone and welcome back for some more Drag Race gossip, secrets and drama. There have now been 15 seasons of RuPaul's Drag Race US with almost 200 contestants so far. And so I thought today it would be interesting to go through the first eliminated queens from each season and see what they've been up to since their time on Drag Race and also some interesting tea. All that and more coming up in today's video, so let's get started. First off we have Victoria Porkchop Parker from Season 1. Although we didn't get to see much of Victoria on the show, her name has become one of the most recognisable names from Drag Race and has been used many times on the show, such as during Alaska's Reju Rochu verse as well as the Porkchop loading dock in Season 13. Since Drag Race, Victoria has appeared on several other TV shows, such as Botched in 2016, where she had a rhinoplasty to fix a decaying skin condition after she had an unlicensed silicone nose injection in the late 90s which caused health issues. She also made appearances on RuPaul's Netflix show AJ and the Queen, as well as Two Broke Girls along with Chad Michaels. Victoria is a self-described pageant queen and has won over a hundred pageants including Miss Continental Plus as well as the first RuPaul's Drag Con pageant in 2018. Victoria also appeared as a guest during the Snatch Game on season 13 and Victoria admitted on Joseph Shepard's podcast that when she arrived late that wasn't scripted and it was actually real. Apparently a friend of hers who was driving her to the set got into a car accident and Victoria had to rent a car and drive him to the hospital before driving herself to the studio which is why she was late. And I'd like to take a moment to say thank you to the sponsor of this video, Martha Stewart and Marley Spoon. The Martha Stewart and Marley Spoon is a meal kit service that offers a weekly menu of 100 plus recipes to choose from including a wide variety of premium options. Every week you can choose from a range of delicious meals and a rotating selection of add-ons like breakfast, smoothies, appetizers and desserts. And Martha Stewart and Marley Spoon will send you a box with all of the ingredients and the recipes so you can create delicious meals without the hassle of having to go grocery shopping. And what's more, if you use my code DRAGT235, you can save up to $235 on your first five boxes from Marley Spoon, which works out to up to $5.99 per portion, and you get free shipping on your first box. And because Martha Stewart is a trusted household name for cooking and entertaining, you'll be sure that you'll be whipping up tasty meals quickly and easily. So make sure you check out Martha Stewart and Marley Spoon today and use my code DRAGT235 to save up to $235 off your first five boxes and free shipping on the first box. The link will be in the description and in the pinned comment. Thanks again to Martha Stewart and Marley Spoon for sponsoring this video. Next we have Shangela from Season 2, who famously came back in a box on Season 3 and competed for a second time placing 6th. Apparently Shangela sent in an audition tape for season 3, but the producers had already invited her to come back for season 3 before they even saw her second audition tape. Shangela also competed on All Stars 3 in 2018, but ended up placing runner-up, although many people thought that she would win. And RuPaul even said on Andy Cohen's Watch What Happens Live that Shangela should have won. Yeah. Was is there is there is there someone who didn't win Drag Race over all the seasons that in your mind you think oh, yeah. that Sh one came Shangela. So Shangela. Sh Shangela. Yeah. 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 Yes. Yeah. yeah. Since being on Drag Race, Shangela's career has exploded and she has been on many TV shows such as Glee, The X-Files and even in the movie A Star Is Born with Bradley Cooper and Lady Gaga in 2018. In 2020, Shangela joined the cast of the Emmy Award winning show We're Here which also featured Bob the Drag Queen and Eureka. Shangela has become one of the most accomplished queens from the show and has had a career in music, film and television and she even launched her own talent management agency in 2014. Shangela once spilled in an interview that during All Stars 3, one of the eliminated queens lied to Shangela and said that they had voted for her in the finale because the queens were originally told their votes were not going to be shown on camera but the votes did get shown in the end. 
And Shangela confronted the unnamed eliminated queen for lying, and the queen apparently made up an excuse, but Shangela implied that she didn't believe them. So next we have Venus Delight from season 3. On the show, we found out that Venus is a Madonna impersonator and has had multiple cosmetic surgeries in order to look more like Madonna and has spent over $100,000 in the process. And Venus even appeared on the TV shows Botched and My Strange Addiction in 2014. Back in 2015, Venus got into a bit of a beef with Bianca Del Rio after Bianca had made fun of Venus during her Really Queen comedy series on World of Wonders YouTube channel. Venus was then invited to make her own video reading Bianca, but it wasn't very well received because Venus's jokes didn't really land. Venus later said that she was never really angry at Bianca and she just thought it was funny, but she did say that she regretted doing her video because it was so badly received by fans. Since being on Drag Race, Venus has continued to work as a Madonna impersonator and she also has many other celebrity impersonations in her arsenal, including Paris Hilton. Next we have Elisa Summers from season 4. Elisa had a very short run on the show, and we didn't really get to see much of her. However, one of her most memorable moments was when she said that Jiggly Caliente's design outfit looked like, quote, baked potato couture. And RuPaul even mentioned this later to Jiggly on All Stars 6. Not much is known about what happened to Elisa since her time on the show. She appeared to be doing drag shows in Tampa, Florida, but then she appeared to quit drag and not much was heard about her after that. Elisa later launched a new official Elisa Summers Instagram page in December 2022, where she announced that she was starting to do drag again. Her last post in February of this year said that she was performing at a dance bar in Tampa, and Elisa said she was excited to be back in drag. So next we have Penny Tration from Season 5. You may remember that Penny was the Facebook fan vote winner, but it was later revealed that Adore Delano actually won the Facebook fan vote for Season 5, but she wasn't able to compete because she didn't have enough clothes, and so Penny was the next queen on the list and she got on the show. Penny later fell in the bottom in episode 1 and lip-synced against Serena Cha-Cha, and it seemed like Penny didn't know the words to the song, which is why she kept turning around. And this has since become a bit of a joke, and queens often call this move the penetration move. Since her time on the show, Penny seems to have been working pretty regularly in drag in Cincinnati, but she appears to be keeping a relatively low profile. However, in March 2019, Penny posted a photo of her elimination with the title Avenge the Fallen. And in the post description, which seems to have now been deleted, Penny implied as though she had found out some backstage tea about her elimination and that perhaps her elimination was rigged. However, Penny didn't elaborate any further, so it's not clear what this was referring to. Now moving on to Kelly Mantle, who was eliminated from the first group in Season 6. One of the things that people most remember Kelly for on the show is that her self-made design outfit looked like pieces of raw bacon which the judges made fun of. Kelly also said on the show that she was an actress and had appeared on several TV shows such as Nip Tucked and CSI. Since Drag Race, Kelly has continued a career in drag, acting and also music, and she even released a song called Eliminated in 2014, which was about her elimination from Drag Race. Kelly has also appeared alongside fellow Drag Race alum Tammy Brown in a sitcom called The Browns, which has also featured other Drag Race alums such as Pandora Box and Laganja Estranja. Kelly also supported Trixie and Katia on their live tour in 2020. In an interview with Hey Queen, Kelly said that she was offered season 1 of Drag Race and the original concept was that the queens could bring an assistant with them. And Kelly also told a funny story about her time on season 6, when the producers were trying to get her to have a meaningful workroom conversation with Vivacious, but Kelly didn't really have time because she was rushing with her makeup. And they're like, no, you have to. And I'm like, Bavesha, what was your childhood like in, in, in Jamaica? And she's like, oh, mama, it was terrible. They tried to drown me in the ocean. I'm like, oh, my God, that's so awful. You know? And next we have Magnolia Crawford from the second group on season six. 
Magnolia didn't necessarily come across that well from her time on Drag Race, and she even said during Untucked that she only came on the show for exposure. Magnolia, who now goes by his government name of Reynolds, appeared on the Feast of Fun podcast in 2014, where he watched his lip sync and elimination. And he seemed visibly very awkward and said that it was embarrassing, and he also said that he had never watched the episode before. In an interview with James St. James in 2015, Reynolds said that the reason he quit drag after Drag Race was because he received so much hate mail after the show and drag stopped becoming fun. Back in July 2023, Reynolds got into a bit of drama when he posted a video to his YouTube titled Life After Drag Race. And in the video, he said that religious and political conservatives have been more supportive of him than the LGBT plus community. And he also said that he does not identify as LGBT plus because he thinks the community is toxic. The video received a lot of backlash and Reynolds deleted the video shortly after uploading it and hasn't spoken about it since then. Now we have Tempest Du Jour from season seven. Tempest didn't really get to show much of her personality on the show, but she did talk about her extreme weight loss and also her adopted children. And she is also the second oldest contestant to ever compete on the show, the first being Charlie Hydes. The morning after her elimination on season seven, Tempest posted a parody video on YouTube called Tempest Du Jour's Very Bad Day, where she was sitting in bed watching her elimination and taking pills. Since being on Drag Race, Tempest has continued to work in drag and she appeared alongside her fellow season 7 sister, Mrs. Kasha Davis, as future versions of Trixie and Katia on their show, Uh. Tempest also appeared as a guest on season 14, episode 5 of Drag Race, alongside fellow first eliminated queens, James Mansfield and Kimora Hall. Tempest also regularly posts content both in and out of drag on her Instagram. Okay, so next we have Naysha Lopez from season eight. Although Naysha was technically eliminated first, she was brought back into the competition in episode three and was then eliminated again in episode four and ultimately placed ninth. Naysha won the title of Miss Continental in 2013 and was given the award by the previous year's winner, Sasha Colby. And Naysha then handed over the title the following year in 2014 to Brooklyn Heights. Since season eight, Naysha has continued to have a successful career in drag, and she is a regular host at Roscoe's Tavern in Chicago, where they host drag race viewing parties, which I talk about a lot in my videos. Naysha also came back to compete in All Stars 8 in 2022 when she placed 11th. Naysha also performed with several other Drag Race alums as part of Jennifer Lopez's iHeartRadio Music Awards Icons performance in March 2022. Moving on to James Mansfield from season nine. James came across as very unsure of herself on season nine and didn't really get to show much personality before her early elimination. However, several queens have said that at the season nine reunion, James did actually have a lot to say and said some really funny reads, but pretty much all of it was cut out. James has her own wig business called James Mansfield Beauty, and James has also had a YouTube channel since 2013 and has amassed nearly 200,000 subscribers. James later appeared on All Stars 8 in 2022, where she placed seventh. She's also good friends with Trixie Mattel and they've collaborated with each other several times and Trixie even cut James's hair while Trixie was studying at beauty school and needed someone to practice on. Next we have Vanessa Vanji Mateo from season 10. Although Vanessa was eliminated first, her exit line on season 10 became the longest and also the most iconic and it was quoted throughout the season and RuPaul even wore a necklace to a red carpet event that said Vanji on it. Vanessa was then invited back and competed on season 11 and placed fifth. Since appearing on Drag Race, Vanessa has been involved in many other Drag Race spin-offs, such as RuPaul's Secret Celebrity, Canada's Drag Race, and since 2020, she has been involved in RuPaul's Drag Race Live, which is a residency show in Las Vegas. Vanessa has also appeared on several other TV shows, such as Germany's Next Top Model and All Star Shaw. 
and she released her first music single in 2018 called I'm Vanji, and she's also starred in two music videos for Iggy Azalea. So next we have Soju from season 11. Soju didn't really get to show much on season 11, and her most memorable moment was when she shared on stage that she had a cyst which burst on the plane journey to Drag Race. Soju used to have a YouTube show called Shot with Soju, where she would interview other Drag Race queens and review episodes of the show. In 2021, Soju was accused of sexual assault by several people, and Soju said that she was expecting these allegations as part of an attempt to extort her. However, Soju later deleted her social media and said that she needed to focus on her mental health, and Soju has come back several times to social media, but her social media accounts remain inactive, so it appears that she may have quit drag. And now we have Dahlia Sin from season 12. Although Dahlia was the first queen eliminated on her season, she remained memorable because she appeared as a broccoli throughout the season as a running joke. Dahlia is the drag daughter of Arsha and is drag sisters with Candy Muse. And in fact, Candy actually appeared with Dahlia during the season 12 finale as part of the Vote Covergirl remix. Dahlia has continued a career in drag since the show and is the most followed first eliminated queen on Instagram who didn't return to the competition. In 2020, Dahlia launched an OnlyFans and she even won a World of Wonder Wowie award for Outstanding OnlyFans Creator. The next queen is Kimora Hall from season 13. Although Kimora's time on Drag Race was very short, she did leave us with a memorable moment during the acting challenge where she kept having to repeat the same line. I was rooting for us. I was rooting for us. Kimora is the self-described Mackie doll because of her love for designer Bob Mackie. And she owns many Bob Mackie outfits, and in Kimora's Out the Closet video, Kimora said that she has certain outfits that are so valuable that she wears gloves to handle them. Since Drag Race, Kimora has continued a successful career in drag, and in 2022, Kimora appeared alongside Ginger Minj and Cornbread in the Disney movie Hocus Pocus 2. And then we have June Jambalaya from season 14. Although technically Orion Story and Diabetti were eliminated in their respective premieres first, they both returned to the competition. And so, for the purpose of this list, I'm classing June as the actual first eliminated queen because she did not return to the competition after her elimination. Since Drag Race, June has continued to work in drag and she also has a YouTube channel where she posts vlogs, including interviewing her mother about June's coming out. It was once pointed out that June's last name, Jambalaya, was spelled incorrectly during the season 14 talent show because it should be spelt with an A, not a U, although this has since been changed on WOW Presents Plus. And her logo also had the same misspelling, but it's not clear who was responsible for this spelling mistake. And finally, we have Irene Dubois from season 15. Irene was eliminated after her talent show number that didn't seem to land, and many people agreed that Irene left too soon. At the reunion, the other queens mentioned that Irene had an amazing runway package which she shared on Instagram, and Irene has said that she spent around $8,000 on her outfits for the season. Since the show, Irene has continued to grow her career, and after appearing on the show, Irene's Instagram follower count increased by over 500%. In an interview with Maddie Morphosis in 2023, Irene said that she would be dropping the last name Dubois because it doesn't relate to her drag anymore, and she appears to be now going by Irene the Alien. So there you go, there was a video about what happened to all of the first eliminated queens from RuPaul's Drag Race. Which of these queens would you like to see come back to Drag Race in the future? And did you find any of the information in this video surprising? Let me know in the comments. I'd also like to say a massive thank you to all of my amazing Patreon members. In the You're a Winner Baby tier, we have Emerald1508 and PC Smush. And then in the Shantae You Stay tier, we have Becky, Charlie, David, Emma, Kylie, Max, Tebby, and Craig. 
Thank you all so much for your incredible ongoing support. It really does make such a massive difference to my channel and it allows me to keep making videos for you all. So thank you all so, so much. If you'd like to join my Patreon and get exclusive benefits such as early access to my videos, shout outs in my videos, as well as priority access when submitting interview questions among other benefits, you can join my Patreon for just a few dollars a month to unlock these amazing benefits and I'll put a link in the description. Please make sure you like, comment and share this video as it really helps support my channel. And of course, please make sure you hit the subscribe button to stay up to date about new uploads. Thanks for watching and I hope you'll join me again in future videos. Thank you, bye!